Uh, hi folks, um, I'm just going to be teaching you how to make HTML websites. Um, it's come to mind, a lot of people have told me that they've been having trouble with their HTML uh, summative for, which is on my, which are on Tuesday I think, so yeah, I decided to um, help you guys out by giving you a quick frames lesson um, and teaching you some of the basics of HTML in case you guys didn't know. Alright, so basically all you guys need to know for the HTML um, summative is one of the main things you'll need to know is how to insert a picture in a, in, in a, in a web page and how to make frames. So those are the two things I'm, I'm going to be teaching you today as well as some other things. So I'm going to be making three um, web pages today, hopefully. Um, and yeah, let's get started. So the first thing we do when we're making an HTML page is start off by writing HTML. Basically, that starts off your HTML page. Um, and as you can see, um, I'm using Coda, so it kind of uh, finishes my code for me. Um, you sh if you're using Windows, a great program to help you out would be Notepad++. Please use it. Do not use Notepad. Um, it's free, and it basically cleans up a lot of your code. It helps you a lot. It will save you a lot of time, and you'll be much more relaxed using it in the summative rather than Notepad. Notepad++, I'll show you where to get it, it's free, so there's no point of not getting it. Notepad++, please download it, or download Dreamweaver or anything. If you have Dreamweaver, great, use that. But do download Notepad++, it's for Windows or any um, or Mac or whatever you have. Um, anyways, let's go back to Coda. Um, and the second thing that you have to add in uh, your HTML files is a header. A head basically so head and again it kind of finished it off for me but I'll write it for purpose sakes um, actually I'll take this out these two out right now the, the after that basically you have to write in a title so the title is ba the title basically includes I'll show you what the title is and it kind of finished it off I'm gonna show you step by step I'm not gonna let the program finish it off for me Basically, the title is this thing that shows up here. So you know how it says "download break 5.9," .9, and if I open up Google's or whatever, it says Google up here. And that's basically your title. So that's all you're gonna have to write in your title. For my for purpose sake, I'm just gonna write in home page because we're making your home page right now. And then we're gonna end our title, close our title tab, and that's how that's done. Now that we've got that, we can close our head or the head that we started here so we opened the head and we closed it now the backslash basically means you're closing something um, next where we have to start is basically our body so b-o-d-y you open your body and I'm gonna, just gonna remove that you start your body and the first thing is that I like to do is I like to center my text so I like to say center and I like basically the first thing I only thing I like to center is my heading. So your heading basically comes from if you did the heading tutorial, you probably found out that you can do H1 up, all the way up to H6, and those are your heading options. Before that, I like to do a couple of things. Um, one, I'd like to make I like to change the color of my font, and I like to change my font. So so I write font and I write font face. This basically changes the color. I'm uh, sorry. The the chooses the font I use. So write font space face equal to quotation marks. Um, and air, you can write Times New Roman. I'm gonna go with Arial right now, for the sake of time. You can choose whatever you want. And yeah, that's what you write. That's what you're supposed to write. Font face, uh, quote, in quotation marks, Arial, whatever font you want to use. Times New Roman, whatever, wherever it be. And then that's you can choose that. Next thing I like to do is font color, and notice that I'm not gonna. You have to use the American spelling of color, C O L O R, for HTML to get this. Um, and then similar with font face, you write font color equal to in quotation marks what color you want. I'm gonna do a good orange color, nice orange color. And again, you close it off with that. That's that. The next thing you want to do is H1, your heading, your heading. And again, I told you about the H. You have um, six heading options. You can go to H1 to H6. Um, H6 being the smallest and H1 being the biggest. So in H1, I'm going to write 
um, my home page. And I'm going to close it off just like that. Nothing big, and that's it, basically. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is, I'm, you see how I started this uh, center up here? I'm going to close that center because I don't want anything to be centered anymore. I'm going to close off center. And I'm going to start my first body text, body paragraph. So I'm going to insert a, um, a paragraph, which is basically the line, uh, which basically is P. And I'm going to write, this is my first attempt at making a HTML web page. You can write whatever you want. Or, yeah, why not? Uh, exclamation mark, why not? Uh, choose whatever you want to write. You're going to close that paragraph that you, you're making. So I close the paragraph. And that's basically a simple web page. If you want to add a picture in it, um, actually, I'll do that in my next, in the next um, web page I'll make. So I'll add a picture in the next one. So, okay, we got that. Uh, all we have to do is now is close up everything and clean everything up. So the simplest thing to do now is since we see let's see what we have closed and what we have opened so we started an html tag we haven't closed that and that's the last thing we have to close we've started our head tag we closed the head we started our body we didn't close our body yet we started our we started the center thing and then we closed the center thing so basically you have to close our body b o d y and we have to end our html and basically that's your simplest um web page right there I'm just gonna file, do a quick file save, um, file save, and I'm gonna save it on HTML website on my desktop, and I'm gonna save this as home page. And let's go check it out here. HTML website pops up here. In Safari, it looks like that. Basically, not I uh, can't get any simpler. Um, actually, in this I'll teach you. Actually, I'll teach you how to make um a background as well. So in, ba in when ma doing backgrounds you can do two types of backgrounds. You can have an image background or you can have a solid color background. I'll teach you how to do both. First I'll teach you how to do a solid color background. Um, all you have to do is this line of code that you're gonna put in is has to be in between these two tags. This your opening body and your closing body. It can be anywhere you can put it anywhere in between randomly. I'm just gonna choose for the purpose sakes before I close um, one line above before I close my body tag I usually put it there so all you have to write is body um, if you're gonna insert a color a solid color I'll go with that first you're gonna write body color and you basically have to write in uh, body color equal to oh sorry my bad it's not that's not right body body BG color yeah that's the command body bg color and equal to in quotation marks so you have your quotation marks and you can choose what color um, if you know some html code and you can search these um, html color codes up html color codes color codes you can go on google and type in html color codes and you can get a um, a heck load of um, color codes so for red my red is this uh, white is FFFFF, there's light gray, you can see a bunch of color codes right here. If you like a bunch of color codes, and uh, there's, I think there's a color picker here somewhere too. And there's a bunch of grays, if you like any of these colors, just copy this color code. What is this, Dodger Blue 4? I, actually, I'll choose one I like. Here, here's Steel Blue 1. If, let's say if I like this color, I'm just going to copy this HTML code. And that's my email, my bad. Uh, Wait. Yeah. Okay. You just basically copy this code. Um, control C, Command C or uh, Control C, and you can just paste it in. So number this, and that's gonna be your color of the of your background. Otherwise, you can write basic things like blue, black, orange, whatever whatever you call it. If you want to go for more complex colors, just uh, Google search. Um, HTML, what did I search? HTML color codes. The first link, 
it was amazing. You can see a bunch of colors here. Copy the look at the color, see if you like it, choose one that you like, copy the code, go into your thing, uh, body BG color equal to in quotations number and write the six digit number there. If you save save that, and let me just open that one again. You see I have a light blue background with orange text basically. That's that's what you get. Um, you can change the color. I don't seem actually like this color anymore, so I'm gonna change it to something bluish, just a normal blue. And I'll save that. And basically I'm gonna end the first tutorial there. Um, that creates basically for you if I open up where's Safari? Where's that page? Alright, it looks like this. Basically looks like this. And oh yeah, true, I have to show you guys how to put an image background here. Alright, so to to make an image background, um, all you have to do is find a, you first find an image. So all I'm going to do is go on Google Images, images.google.ca. Find whatever image you want. I'm just going to do web page background. Um, the second one here, I like it. Save image as. Save it as a, in the same folder that you have. Uh, in the in the same folder which, which the HTML5 is in, uh, HTML document is, and give it a one letter name. Oh, I'm sorry, not a one letter name, one word name, so it's easier to. So I just call it BG, BG Home, and then that call it that. Let's go back in your code, and what you want to do here, instead of writing body BG color, we write body background. Uh, body uh, background G R O U N D equal to and now basically you have to equal to in quotations tell the computer what you want um, what do we name that file again we called it BG home BG home dot JPEG right and you uh, you close it there and that's your text that's all you have to do body background equal to in quotations bg home the name of the file i named it bg home dot jpeg quotations close and you close the quotation and you end it there let's see how that looks so as you can see now it's changed and now we have that background that i chose and we have orange text on it um, that was basically the first tutorial um next i'll show you how to in the next video i'll show you how to do the uh, how to how to do um, how how to do the thing? Sorry, how to make the links page, and then I'll, and after the one after that, I'll show you how to make uh, the frames. All right, thanks for watching. All right, hi guys. Um, all right, so we're back, and I wanted to now show you how to do um, your the second part of the tutorials, which is making the links page. So making links is actually fairly easy, and what I decided I wanted to show you first before that is actually inserting the image because people were having problems with the image, right? So we'll go. I'll go ahead and actually show you the image first. So first, actually, let's get an image off Google Images. So images.google.ca. Let's see what image. Let's get a picture of Simpsons. Okay, actually, actually that was pretty cool. Save as, and we'll save that as um, hey.jpg or whatever it is. Yeah, it's a JPEG. Good. We'll close that, and we'll, let's go back to that. What we have here. So not, none of the code has changed from our last tutorial. I'm gonna add the new uh, piece of code to insert that picture that we had, and I'm also gonna teach you how to change the height and width of the picture as well. So to insert a picture, all you have to do is you have to start your code and write img image source src which is basically short for source equal to in quotations the name of the file so remember we have to save that file in the same folder so in this html website we have that this hey.jpg so it's okay so we just write hey.jpg basically that's all you do and now what else you can write is you can either close it right there and you would get, if I save it, I'll save it for you. And you'd get this huge image randomly popping up um, with no, uh, it would be the default size, the default dimension.